So you pay a little bit more for it, but it lasts longer and you can depend on it all the time, which is really what Stabila does, designs tools you can depend on for a long time. The next thing it does is it's heat resistant. All right, so there's a couple different ways that it's heat resistant. This one in particular goes up to 122 degrees. Um, and the reason why it's like that is the body right here is aluminum. And so aluminum lets the heat escape out of the laser faster. And then it's also a little bit on the inside how it's, uh, how it's designed. So I'm gonna show you a couple different uh, applications you would use it for. And I'm gonna kind of walk through some of the process of this laser. So I'm gonna mount the laser to the tripod just like this. What I have with me now, right now, is, this, is an elevator tripod. And uh, if you want with a full-blown system, this elevator tripod comes with it. What I'm gonna show you next is a simple keypad that we built into this laser, because we know when there's 35 guys on a job site, it's a lot of guys that train on using a laser. So this one here, you could simply just turn it on and walk away and you're ready to go. And this laser is gonna self-level, and it's gonna self-level within five or six degrees, and you can walk away and do your work all day long. But there's something else built into it though that you can't see what's going on. And this laser right now is working on locking into what we call high alert. It gives us about 30 seconds, and after we've got it established at the height that we want, when we walk away, after 30 seconds, the laser locks into this high alert. What that means is if I'm walk, uh, off 100 feet away from this laser and somebody walks up and kicks the tripod, that's bad. Because if the, level, if the laser's re-level again, I might be working about an inch lower. So this laser is designed to shut off completely and stay off if somebody kicks the tripod. Now that the laser is level and it's spinning, we can start using some of the functions with the remote. The remote can control what we call a scan line. If I push this big button in the middle here, it stops the laser and focuses it on one area here. The reason why we want scan is when we focus it in on one area, you can see the laser easier. Now with this upper button right here, if I push this one and hold it, I can actually make that scan line wider. If I push this upper left hand button, I make it smaller and more focused. Then if I push the big button in the middle again, now I go back and I rotate. Now with those upper buttons right now, I can, I can adjust the speed of the, of the rotation. And it's variable speed, so it's not slow, medium, fast. I can actually adjust it to the exact speed that I want. So if I push that button and hold it, you can see the laser spins even faster. When I'm working inside and I can see the laser beam, I keep it at a decent pace. When I work outside with the receiver, I just crank it up as fast as I can because that's what the receivers like to do. All I have to do is turn the laser on, lay it down, and then the laser knows exactly what to do. So I'm gonna do it right now. First thing I do is I lay it down on the chalk line. The laser starts to level on its own. As soon as it spins, it's plumb already. So as soon as it spins like that, I need to do a fine adjustment and make sure that that line is lined up, the laser's lined up exactly on my line. So there, right below the laser, my, I'm, I'm lined up right on my layout line. The hard part though, moving forward, is to ensure that the laser that's spinning is lined up on the rest of the line. And sometimes the lines are 300 feet long. So the hard part is getting it lined up. And normally it takes two guys. We have a guy on the other end yelling down to me, Jason, move it that way. No, move it back that way. And it, it takes a long time. It's really frustrating. So we've changed how we do that now. The way I'm going to do it, I can do it all by myself. I use a receiver. And in this case, I have the DTEC receiver that comes with this laser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down to the other end of the chalk line. And I've got a black mark that's on the, on the DTEC receiver here that we call dead band. That's zero, right? So I'm going to take that black mark and I'm going to line it right up on the chalk line. So I'm going to walk down there now. So right after I get that late, the receiver lined up on that chalk line, I'm gonna walk on down to the other end again and I'm gonna steer the laser into place. This is probably my favorite function on this laser. Back when I was doing commercial work, if I would've had this, I would've been unbeatable. It makes me almost wanna go back and do it again. This laser here, I don't have to bend down and move this around at all. I actually just take this, this uh, remote control here and I can steer that laser into place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand down in a chalk line and I can kind of tell what side of the chalk line the laser's on right now. It's telling me that it's on the right side of the, the chalk line right now. So I know that I have to steer left. It's as simple as taking that left button and turning it that way. So I'm gonna push it until I hear that receiver start to beep. When it starts to beep then, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of tap on that button, which is a fine adjustment and it's gonna move a little bit more. 
A couple little taps. One more. I went past it. Right there. It's as simple as that. All I did is took that laser line and I steered the whole laser with that remote right there. I don't need that other guy anymore. So now that the laser is lined up in that chalk line, now I know that I can take that chalk line and put it up there. The next thing I would do is I would jump on my lift, go on up there and get to work. The laser's actually doing one more thing that I want to show you. If you look out of the top of the laser here, I have a beam coming out. What that, what that beam is, it's a 90 degree beam. No more doing three, four, five with a tape measure or a large reel tape. All I have to do is I have to take this laser beam here and transfer it down to the concrete here, and I've got 90 degrees automatically. The fastest way I've found to do it is I just grab my speed square that I have in my pouch anyways, and I set it down on the concrete, I slide it into place, I, grab, I split the beam in half. It's really easy to do. And then I just take my pencil, mark the edge of the square. I always circle it so I can find it later. And I'm gonna walk down to the other end of the wall there and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I just take my speed square gun, drop it onto the concrete, slide it into place until I see the beam. Right there. I split the beam, I can see it on the edge of the speed square. I do the same thing, I mark the edge of it, circle it, snap my line and we have 90 degrees.